Welcome to the first warm up before the day 2500 of the Budweiser shootout. Kevin Harvick takes the pole alongside Kurt Busch. Here's your star lineup for today's race. For the 2011 AFI Cup Series, Row 1 Kevin Harvick and Kurt Busch. Kevin Harvick takes the pole. Row 2 Kyle Busch and Clint Boyle. Row 3 Matt Kenseth and Casey Kane. Row 4, David Rickman and Tony Stewart. Row 5, Greg Biffle, uh, Carl Edwards and Greg Biffle. Row 6, AJ Armadillo and Joel Logano. Row 7, Paul Menard and Mark Sambos. Row 8, Brad Keselowski and Michael Waltrip. Row 9, Bobby Labonte and Travis Crawford. Row 10, Ricky Sanders Jr. and Josh Rice. Row 11, Danica Patrick and Jennifer Chokov. On row 12, David Gilland and Ricky Ryan Trucks. And finally, on row 13, David Reagan. Oh, shoot, this thing's on mute. Now something strange is going on here. You know, just want to get it done. Want to get it done, boy. Time out for a second. All right, there we go. Here we go. Since this is a bud shootout, this will be uh since in since in the shootouts for the uh, 2011 season and 2010, we'll only do like about five laps, and they're off for the first round of the uh. Warm up before we get to the Daytona 500, the Budweiser Shootout. You know it's kind of funny. Uh, don't don't get me wrong, but some of the drivers who did not make it to the race might be alone, and that happens to the tw and that's hap and that happens to the drivers all the time in the 2011 season. They're going by back straight. David Lady making moves. The body wanted three wide with Michael Waltrip, the 15 car. David Reagan gaining gaining some ground now alongside the number two car of Mark Sambos, uh, the number nine car of Mark Sambos, and the number two car of Rakasowski as he makes a slingshot. shot. Lap number two. Four to go four to go for the Bud Wiser shootout. And here at Daytona National Speedway, we can see draft race, drafting and bump drafting with their own teammates. Like you can see right now, the six car of David Reagan and the shoving his teammate Carl Edwards. Uh, that happens a lot for the 2011 and 12 season, and uh, sometimes in the 2012 season, but a lot in the 2011 season at Daytona and at Talladega. But one more thing before I move on. Don't bump draft. Don't bump draft with your teammate too far, though. It only lasts for a couple. Cause if you last for a couple, you're free to go. But if you if it lasts too long, you you get spun out and wrecked. We don't want that to happen. The thing David Reagan done the right thing. Kevin Harvick will maintain the lead on three to go. Come and turn number one and two. David Wiggin in third place, right in the second, almost getting catching into second place with the wild thing of Kyle Bush. Everyone's just so excited for the bud shootout. 
And the first one of the F5 comes. Oh no, Bush around! It but saves it though. But no other collision. But uh, no, no caution. No caution. Uh, he saved it though. No caution. No caution yet. Two to go. Kyle Bush will be in 25th position since uh, he blocked the 6th car. Now he's he is just catching up with the 29th of Harvard, but I don't think, I don't think the 29th is not going to make it that easy. See David Wiggins trying to pass. Kevin Hoffman to the inside, now he's going to try the outside again. There he goes. Final lap this time by. Oh, oh! Riggett made, made contact and Riggett almost got spun out and got wrecked and almost lost the race. And white flag is in the air. Will Kevin Hoffman will make it back-to-back Burt Wesley shootouts? 2009, 2010, and 2011. Oh! No, oh, he goes around by David. I think. See, in 2011 and 12, dude, you get too much. You you too much blocking. I mean, you you too much. You too much block. You blocking too much, and you get spun out by the opponent right behind you. And that's what happens a lot a lot of times in the 2011 season at Daytona. So that has just happened. We've seen that like about six years ago in 2007 or six with Tony Stewart and David Reagan with the same guys on the final lap for the day 2500 and Nick Newman and Johnson Jr. and check a flag and David Reagan will win his first Bud shootout. We'll see you next week. For we'll see you somewhere around. We'll see you. We'll see you next week. For the next up will be the. Gatorade Duel at Daytona. Here are your race results. David Wiggin in first place. Kurt Busch in second place. Clint Boyer in third place. Case Cam in fourth place. David Ruthman in fifth place. He's in the top five. Joel Allen in sixth place. AJ Almanegger in seventh. Greg Biffle in eighth. Matt Kenseth in nine. The two teammates finished together. Oh, actually, three. Carl Edwards in tenth place. Finished in the top ten. So that we are congratulate for Roush Fenway. Uh... Paul, Paul Menard in 11th, Bobby Labonte in 12th, uh, Tony Stewart had a bit of a rocky start, so he was going to be in 13th place. Mark Samuels also in 14th, but Michael Waltrip in 15th, in the same in the number of position. Um, Travis Crawford, the 16th, uh, Travis Crawford, the 38th, currently in finish in 16th place. He had a bit of a rocky start as well. Brad Kozlowski, and he... He gained some ground a little bit, so he'd be in 7th place. Josh Weiss, 18th. Ricky Stenhouse, Jr. in 19th. 20th, Danny Patrick. Or David Gillen had a lot of... He had a... He was struggling. He was struggling out there. He's in 21st. Joe Jokov in 22nd. Ryan Trucks in 24th. Kyle Busch. And two cars that got spun out. Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick will be in 24th and 25th place. There it comes. I mean... David, Re David Reagan won Coke Zero 400, but never won the Bud Weiser shootout. There it goes doing his determination. Stay tuned for the Gatorade Duel at Daytona. First and second.